Okay, so let's get started with the easy fix. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is hold down the function key you see here. And then you're gonna go ahead and hold down the escape key. And you should see the keyboard flash momentarily. And there you go. You just see that it reset. So now it's showing the basic colors. And now that you reset your HyperX keyboard, it should now work on the PS4 on a game such as Fortnite that supports keyboard and mouse. So let's go ahead and try it out. So here is my hand. And there we go, I'm moving around in Fortnite using the keyboard. So as you can see, this fix does work. Okay, so the easy fix for getting your HyperX keyboard to work on a PS4 works great. You can just start playing Fortnite. But if it didn't, stay tuned for the advanced fix where I'm gonna go over the most popular HyperX keyboards and show you the fix for those. The fix involves updating the firmware on your HyperX keyboard, and you will need a Windows PC or laptop to get this done, as you need to download the firmware and use the software to update the firmware on the keyboard. So as I mentioned before, the fix is specific to each HyperX keyboard, so make sure to have the exact model of your HyperX keyboard handy so you know which fix to apply. Okay, so let's get started with the advanced fix of getting your HyperX keyboard to work on the PS4 for games such as Fortnite. So the HyperX Alloy FPS Pro is a really cool 10 keyless compact mechanical keyboard. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get it to work on your PlayStation 4 by updating the firmware to one that is compatible with the PlayStation 4. And if this video helps you out with getting your HyperX keyboard to work on your PlayStation 4, I would really appreciate if you would subscribe to the channel because that would really help me out. All right, so let's get right into it. Okay, so before we get started, I'm gonna show you the actual problem when you just buy the HyperX keyboard and you plug it in straight to the PlayStation 4. Let's see what happens when you plug in your new HyperX keyboard that you just received. So when you do plug in your keyboard, you're gonna see a notification in your PS4 that a keyboard has been connected. Go ahead and press X. All right, so you're trying out your keyboard with Fortnite. It's very important that when you get to this screen in Fortnite where you're getting ready to play, make sure you see a keyboard and mouse here. If you see a joystick, what you're gonna to wanna to do is move your joystick or keyboard around and you'll see it's gonna to switch to keyboard and mouse. Otherwise, once you're in game, you can't switch to keyboard and mouse. So now that we see keyboard and mouse here, we're gonna go ahead and select play. All right, so as you can see here, I can move around with the mouse just fine, but when I try using the keyboard to jump or move forward and back, it just doesn't work. So if you're having this problem, I'm gonna show you in this video how to fix this. By the way, if you're looking for the best mouse to use for PlayStation 4, this is it right here. This is the one I've been using, and I've had zero issues with this mouse, unlike other mice that stop working in the middle of the game. This Logitech mouse has worked great for me, and I'll leave a link to this mouse down in the description below if you're interested in getting this mouse. All right, so the very first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and plug in the USB cable onto your PC. Now you're gonna need a PC to update the firmware. You cannot use a Mac or Linux. So somehow get on a PC so you could run this firmware updater. You're only gonna to have to do it once, so you can do it at a friend's house and so on. All right, so let's get right into fixing your HyperX Alloy FPS Pro to work with the PlayStation 4. All right, so in order to get your HyperX Alloy FPS Pro keyboard to work on the PlayStation 4, you're gonna have to run the firmware updater to update your firmware to one that is compatible with the PlayStation 4 for your keyboard. So I'm gonna show you step-by-step step what you need to do. Make sure you don't skip any steps at all because if you skip a step, it may cause problems with your keyboard. So the first thing you wanna do is go down to the description of this keyboard and click on show more. Scroll all the way down to you see firmware updater instructions and you're gonna wanna follow these steps. Make sure you follow step one first, step two, and then step three. The first step is very important because I'm gonna leave a link to the exact model of this keyboard. You're gonna wanna compare your keyboard to make sure it looks exactly the same as it does on that website and to make sure that the model name of that keyboard matches yours. The reason being is that each firmware is model specific. If you install a firmware for a different keyboard on your keyboard, it may cause problems with your keyboard. All right, so after you've done that, you're gonna to wanna to go to step two and we're gonna go ahead and download the firmware updater for your specific HyperX keyboard. And on this tab, I went ahead and clicked on that link and you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and click the download. If you don't see this download button here, you can click download from this icon here in the top right. Otherwise, you can go ahead and click on the download button. Go ahead and click on save and go ahead and click open. Now this is a compressed zip file, so if you're running Windows 10, you should be able to just click on extract up here and click on extract all. Go ahead and just click extract. And now you should see the firmware updater executable file with this red little icon. Go ahead and double click on this executable and this is going to show your current firmware version 
and the new firmware that it's going to update to. Now pay attention because this is very important. If you have the HyperX Ingenuity software installed and it detects that there's a newer firmware version for your keyboard after you install this firmware version, make sure you don't install it. You're going to want to stay on version 2112 so that your keyboard works with the PlayStation 4. We're going to click on the update button. It's very important that you don't disconnect your keyboard for any reason during this firmware update process. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the update button now. You'll get this little dialog box that says new version available, update, go ahead and click on yes. And you're going to see a progress meter. Again, important, do not unplug the keyboard while this is going. You will see your keyboard blink momentarily. Once the firmware update process has been completed, you will get a message here saying your device has been successfully updated. Go ahead and click OK. And you can go ahead and close the firmware updater window. Okay, now we're going to hop on back on the PlayStation 4. I'm going to show you how you can test your keyboard to make sure it's working now on PlayStation 4 after this firmware update. All right, now that we're back on the PlayStation 4, you're going to want to test out your keyboard with a game that supports keyboard and mouse. Now, not all games support keyboard and mouse. One popular game it does is Fortnite. So let's go ahead and test it with that. All right, so you're going to want to plug in your keyboard onto the PlayStation 4. You see here that the keyboard is detected on the PlayStation, you're going to want to go ahead and click the X button on your keyboard. All right, so here's a true test to see if the firmware update fixed the Alloy FPS Pro to work on the PlayStation 4. We're going to go ahead and play Fortnite. All right, so here's the test. Mouse works just fine. Now, does our keyboard work? Let's give it a try. And sure enough, I'm able to jump and I can move forward and back with the keyboard. Jump around, and there you go. My HyperX Alloy FPS Pro now works with the PlayStation 4. So I've actually been in communications with HyperX regarding this problem where the Alloy FPS RGB keyboard doesn't work with your PS4, and they've actually hooked me up with their latest firmware that fixes the issues that makes this keyboard compatible with the PS4. So I'm gonna go ahead and provide that for you guys here, and you're gonna find the link to this firmware that makes your Alloy FPS RGB compatible with the PlayStation 4. So you can go ahead and look in the description of the video and I'll put a link to that. Again, this link is provided directly from HyperX. They hooked me up with this link. And now I'm helping you guys out by providing it to you guys so you can get your keyboard to work on your PlayStation 4 so you can play Fortnite or whatever game you wanna play that supports keyboard and mouse on PlayStation 4. All right, everybody, so I know that downloading a firmware update from a Google Drive might seem weird. Maybe I'm sending you to a virus, but don't worry. Be completely transparent with you. Right here, you see my communications back and forth with HyperX, where they give me the link to the HyperX Alloy FPS RGB firmware. And as you can see here, where I've highlighted, they actually say the new firmware will enable you to use your keyboard with the PS4. So that is confirmed from HyperX. All right, so hopefully this puts you a little bit more at ease about downloading this firmware update for your keyboard. So you can go ahead and click the link in the description down below, or you can go ahead and just copy and paste to your browser. And it's basically a zip file. You're gonna go ahead and click download, and then you're gonna click save. Okay, once it's downloaded, you're gonna go ahead and click open. And as you can see here, the zip file contains the executable. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and extract the file and go ahead and click extract. You're gonna wanna go ahead and click the update button here to update your keyboard to 2117. All right, so let's go ahead and go over to the PS4 and give that a try. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and plug in the Alloy FPS RGB keyboard. Again, you only need to plug in the plug that has two keyboards coming out of it, not the one with the single cable. And let's take a look to see if the keyboard works with the PlayStation 4 now. Okay, the PlayStation 4 does detect the keyboard and it says a keyboard is connected to the PlayStation 4. So go ahead and hit the X key. Keyboard, does it work? Let's try jumping. Whoa, there we go, guys. Awesome, so the keyboard works. Let's get right into getting your HyperX Alloy Elite RGB keyboard to work on the PS4. So really quickly, I wanted to point out that there are two USB plugs with the Alloy Elite RGB. One has a white insert and the other one has a black insert. And also the one with the white has this little red tag. This is the one you're gonna wanna plug into your PlayStation 4. This other black one is just for the USB pass-through to connect your mouse. All right, so at this point, you're gonna wanna connect the USB cable with the white in the inside and with this little red tag into your PS4. So as soon as you plug in the keyboard to your PlayStation 4, you will see the keyboard light up. On your PlayStation 4, you also see the screen where it says keyboard connected, who is using this device. Go ahead and just press X at this point on your controller. 
Okay, you should see keyboard and mouse connected over here. You see some little symbols that look like keyboard and mouse. But at this point, the keyboard is actually not gonna work because it doesn't have the correct firmware on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show that to you guys that the straight out of the box, the HyperX Elite RGB does not work on the PlayStation 4. And also one important thing is you're gonna wanna connect the USB cable on this specific screen where you're selecting between Save the World and Battle Royale if you're trying it with Fortnite. Because otherwise, once you're inside playing the game already, Fortnite will not let you switch to keyboard if you already selected to play with controller. So it's important to do it on this screen. All right, so you can see right now, I am moving the mouse around, but the keyboard is not working. I'm trying to jump and nothing happens. So yeah, I'm trying to deploy my parachute and nothing happens. The RGB lights on the keyboard are on. So even though the PlayStation 4 detected the keyboard, in game, it doesn't work. All right, so now that I've showed you guys the problem using the game Fortnite, you see that the keyboard doesn't work. I'm gonna show you guys how to get your HyperX Alloy Elite RGB keyboard to work on the PlayStation 4. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how to update the firmware on your HyperX Alloy Elite RGB keyboard. And here we go. You're gonna wanna go to this website that I'm gonna have down in the description. So you can go ahead and download the firmware from there. And there it is right in the URL. And I'm gonna go ahead and press enter. So here you see the details and you wanna make sure that this is indeed your keyboard. You should then see the firmware updater with a little red icon here. Go ahead and double click on that executable. Now if Windows 10 gives you a warning message about if you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device, go ahead and click yes. All right, so now you should see the firmware updater window. You should see the current version of your keyboard firmware. And then you're gonna see the firmware that it's gonna to update to. So go ahead and click on the update button right here. All right, and once it's done, you should see this window that says successfully updated. You should hear a sound that's gonna indicate your, your keyboard is being disconnected and reconnected. Also, the lights on your keyboard will momentarily turn off and then they will turn on again once the update is completed. Now that we're done updating the firmware, you're gonna go ahead and click OK. OK, and now we've updated your HyperX Alloy Elite RGB keyboard to the 2119 firmware update. And this is the firmware that's gonna allow your keyboard to work on the PlayStation 4. Okay, now let's switch over to the PS4 and test out if this firmware update fix our issue with this keyboard not working on the PlayStation 4. All right, so just another quick reminder that you only have to connect the USB cable that has the white insert on it, the one with the black insert you don't need. So just connect the one with the white insert into your PlayStation 4. So you can see a message on the PS4 stating that a keyboard is connected and it wants to know who is using this device. So go ahead and just press the X button on your controller. All right, so at this point, you're gonna wanna set your controller down and you're gonna start using your keyboard and mouse. So on this screen in Fortnite, if you see a controller icon on the top right, you're gonna wanna go ahead and move the mouse around and you see that it's gonna switch to a keyboard and mouse Icon. So once you see the keyboard and mouse icon, you can go ahead and click play. And it's very important you follow this step because if you start with the controller, you can't switch to keyboard and mouse once you've started the game. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and press play now. All right, so here's the moment of truth. We're gonna see if the firmware update fixed the HyperX Alloy Elite RGB so that it works on the PS4. Sure enough, I'm able to move around with the keyboard. I'm able to jump, look around, so there you go, I just helped you to fix your HyperX keyboard to work on the PS4. If this video helped you out, I would appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button on your way out, that would really help me out.